it's another opportunity to learn my name is the lap of the i will show you how to make a cap a satin cap with um, side pleats and ruffles yes and i i'll be using satin for this project this is doll face satin doll face i already made my v cap it has and at the back for the time so you can make your cap is anyhow you want okay so this is from one and half yards yes yards i made my cap from the one and a half yards so from what is left is what i'll be using to make my design so i already cut out what is required to make my design it's just a just a piece so this is what i have and the measurement is 57 inches this way you know a yard is about 36 to 60 inches basically but for some fabric the length parts uh, may not be up to 60 inches so this one is 57 inches not up to 60. so this is the 57 inches part i didn't alter it while i cut out the width has 30 inches the width i have is about 30 inches here so this is 30 inches by 57 inches okay so what i will do now is to fold in the edges i'll just fold the edges in two times on all the four sides i'll just fold it in two times on all the four side and i'm going to stitch like that that's on all the four sides i fold this in twice i stitch i come to this other side i do the same then also this side i do the same okay so i have my the edges of my fabric sewn and i'm going to measure from here i'm going to measure about 10 inches between 10 to 12 inches 10 to 12 inches like this so i'll pleat this part So I'll just put it like that all the way down. And I'll just use my needle and try to secure it down. So I've tacked it down, secured my pleats as you can see. Okay, just secured it properly, I made it flat very well. So I'm going to follow through by pleating like this. So this is about 10 inches from here to here. And I'll take my needle through as well. I'll arrange the pleats. I just take my needle through like this. So, can you see? I've taken my needle through like that and I'm going to tap. Please make sure that you don't pull the thread too tight at this point. So, another thing that could actually help you is to hold the pleats together using your glue if you can you can just put glue 
here and stick it to it like that. Just need to maybe just need to here. I'll think I'll think I'll need to do that. Let me finish stacking this so that it will keep it in place for me and to not start moving away. Okay, so I'm trying to tack so that this part does not squeeze up together or it's not too tight. What I'm in is I'm releasing the thread inside. I'm not putting it too tight. Can you see? I'm just trying to release it like that. And I'll tie a knot here. Keep this place in place using your alt glue. Just small, little. Can you see where I'm putting it? Just little here. Then you press them together. That way, it will keep your wire working. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that and fix all the pleats. And we'll proceed to the next step. Please avoid gum stains as much as possible. As you can see, I've used my glue to secure them. And now we're going to move on to fixing the design on our cap with the help of our mannequin edge. So this is my cap and I set it here like this. I'm going to place my plate from here. To the back. This is where I have my hand for the time. So I'll place it like this to the back. I'll just tack it down here. You see it? I'll just tack it down here. I'm folding it in a little and I'll tack it down right here. So I'll just go ahead and tack down using my needle and tray. Tack it down to the cap. I'm folding this part in and I'll hide it under the pleats, okay? And I'll tack this down properly. Okay, so I've secured my pleats, the end of my pleats, I folded this in, like I said, and I just hide that part. And I've used my needle and thread to secure it there neatly. Okay, so I'm going to proceed by coming this way. I'm going to tack my pleats down to the cap here. I just tack it down. Needle and thread. I just tack it down. To the cap base. I'll just tack it down here. Tack it down somewhere here. And probably somewhere here. I'm going to just tack it down to the cap. Like this. I just took about three pleats from under. I'm going to come here and do the same. I'll tack this down, tack it down somewhere here, and even here just to secure it with, and I'll be back to continue from there. Okay, at this point, it's time for us to create our ruffles. You can always form any design you want you can create the roughest in so many ways okay that's where your creativity comes and you can just walk your hands around it so what i'll just do now is to push this in over here i push this same up over here and i'm going to tap if you know how to tie guinea satin guinea ruffles then it will be easier for you. 
paint place of using your paints to hold down your fabric you'll be using your usual and try to dark invisible tacking but from behind and from outside from the front so having done that i'll just keep forming my i just push it up i just push this i've tacked it down here i push it this way and i use my fingers to arrange i just take my needle through inside and bring it out right here so i'm going to use my needle and try to secure it to the back that's to the ones at the back just to make it stand I'll just keep forming my ruffles like this. And I'll tap. Like this. So, at this point, I'll tag this down very well to the cup, raise this up, and I tag this part down to the cup. As you can see, I have and I'm going to tack it down, okay? So, I'll just go ahead and cut off these excesses. Cutting out the excess, what I have left is about 15 inches. So, if you so the length required or that I use for myself for my home is about 42, which is a 40 to 40 inches is fine. So, I'm going to just bring this in like this, hide the rough edges. Okay, and I just rough it like that. And I tuck. I'm going to tuck it down here. So I'll just go ahead and, and tuck this down here before I now style my ruffles. Okay, I'll just tuck this down to the cap right here. Okay, what I just did was to just gather up the ruffles together and tuck. Tacked anywhere I had space in, I just tuck like I brought them together. I tucked it down here tack it down here where i'm touching i just tack it down where i'm touching then brought the two ruffles together remember we like we did like two separate ruffles